Hi there, Andy Modler back with another follow-up video concerning the uh, model aircraft, the control line model aircraft, uh, the uh, All-American Senior by the Harold DeBolt company. I mentioned uh, in my videos how I managed to download off the internet from a site called Outer Zone free uh, a plan of this, uh, this model and um, I have posted a number of videos concerning the, uh, the story so far. Um, I'll quickly uh, let you know what happened. If you uh, if you want to go and have a look at the videos, you can on my uh, other video site. Um, uh, I originally powered the first plane with a model engine that my father bought and uh, ran when he was a young lad uh, in the UK uh, from the Frog Five. Uh, it was a Frog Five Hundred from the Frog Company. Now the crankshaft, unfortunately, in flight on one of the uh, one of my flights, the crankshaft actually snapped. Um, I sort of documentary, uh, I, do, I document that in one of my videos. I looked around for uh, another power plant that I had and I had a spare Enya 40. Well, uh, it was from the ni 1980, around about there, one of my first uh, uh, purchases from one of my pay packets that uh, when I first started work. Well, it was a bit of a silly thing to do really because it was a very large uh, engine really for this model and so that meant that I had to add tail weight and the, the model was just like a pendulum and so well you can see the ensuing crash that was this year I have posted it um, it was flown over uh, tarmac and well there wasn't much left let's put it like that um, the plane was totally destroyed and if you have a look at the uh, the said engine this is it uh, well it, it's past fixing all right um, I, I keep it for nostalgia because as I said it was one of the first engines that I ever bought um, I adapted the carburetor didn't need the radio control carburetor which is what it was originally for I just had a straight venturi into the intake um, this engine now is just a, a paperweight um, well uh, not wanting to be put off I looked around on the internet um, mainly um, eBay for a replacement of the crankshaft that snapped in the Frog 500 here is the said crankshaft okay well it's kind of a 60 year old model engine so I wasn't going to get one off the shelf I wasn't just going to phone up a company and say can I please have a new crankshaft that was not going to happen but as luck would have it um, a gentleman by the name of Peter who lives in Holland he actually saw my video and he contacted me and said that he may be able to help me uh, and I thought right okay so I did uh, we corresponded back and forth and uh, this year I think it's in the last three months I actually sent him my uh, the Frog 500 and uh, he's he's posted a video of the total rebuild and uh, build of the crankshaft now here is the said engine okay that is an absolute gem that's like factory new okay all the steel bits have been re-blacked uh, the spray bar and needle valve that's all been remade new uh, the crankshaft inside brand new um, if you want to see the rebuild and uh, the, how a new crankshaft for a model engine can be made basically at home if you have the right tooling then uh, uh, Peter has put on his uh, on his uh, vid videos on, on his own site uh, the video of the rebuild now if you want to see it yourself type that into um, YouTube and you will not only see the rebuild of the Frog 500 but very many other videos of rebuilds of uh, other engines of either his own or of uh, people who have asked him to rebuild said engines okay right well I have a book here going back to the model as I say I was not wanted I did not want to be put off I have a book okay control line manual by Ron Moulton this has been reprinted very many times originally printed in 1961 okay it's got a, a line drawing of the all-american senior okay and a photograph of a completed model now it says here Harold de Bolt deserves a great deal of credit for his commercial enterprise in publishing in pushing his biplane and the all-american senior okay on the eastern coast of the United States 
now uh, okay a lot uh, a lot of credit needs to be given to this gentleman for working out i suppose the geometry of um, the control the early control line model aircraft uh, what was needed what was the right format now as i say not one to be put off myself i uh, i decided to get the plan back out of storage and uh, this year 2015 perhaps the last three months i went again and built myself a second model of the of, of, of the uh, from the same plan um, uh, I wanted to try and explore again the flight characteristics because when the model the original model was in flight uh, be it with either the frog 500 or the Enya 40 even though the Enya 40 was too big for it um, it was an absolutely superb model aircraft to fly absolute gem now um, I didn't deviate in the build from the original that I built last year at all exactly the same um, again I didn't build two halves of the wing and join them I built it in, in, in one piece scarf jointing again uh, this time I covered it in uh, blue Solatex uh, because that's all I had it was originally for a model that I was intending to build called the blue pants but uh, it got pressed into service on this one um, so all really I, uh, I have to do is to install the engine okay now I'm in two minds here um, because this engine now is so close to my heart as I say it's been rebuilt beautiful at the end of the video uh, of Peter's video you will see you can see it being run um, I'm, I'm a little bit in two minds whether to actually fly it in this control line risk it a bit in this control line plane or my other idea is uh, with my father back in the 1980s this model engine powered a uh, Keelcraft Super 60 that he actually bought as a kit 10 years earlier back in 1972 he built it in 1972 it wasn't flown for 10 years I know that sounds a bit uh, strange but when I started to learn to fly uh, we flew it together um, and so I'm uh, my I'm in two minds I'm thinking of perhaps getting myself either a plan or a kit of the Super 60 from the okay Keelcraft is no longer available but you can get them from Ben Buckle's kits or build them yourself from a plan that again you can get from outer zone and so maybe in in it in its retirement type of uh, age i would uh, prefer it to just be, be pot, being able to just pot a, a keelcraft and uh, a model uh, aircraft around the sky perhaps only two channel really needed elevator and rudder and uh, so give it it's sort of an easy last last uh, last number of years I, I wouldn't use it too much but I would be happy to do that okay then well uh, thanks for keeping up with my videos and thanks for watching